Do you want to make 50 million diamonds overnight with absolutely zero huges and no expensive enchant loadout? Well, if you watch to the end of this video, I'll tell you exactly how to do that with very little requirement. So believe it or not, you guys, one of my most popular videos that I've ever done on this channel was an automatic diamond farm that I uploaded over three months ago. While I do feel like my video quality and thumbnails have improved a bit since then, the diamond method itself actually hadn't changed for quite a while. Even back then when I made a video on this method, it was one of the best starter diamond making methods out there. But believe it or not, just recently this method got a whole lot better and let me tell you guys why. But before I tell you guys why exactly, this method is completely beginner friendly and overall just a great method when you're starting out in the game. I personally did it when I first joined the game and it is still very good to this day, but it just got slightly better for a few reasons. Now, even though it is really good for beginner players, it's also good for everybody else as well, because the more you put in it, the more you can get out of it. Along with the regular part of this method, there is also a flipping aspect that can be very good if you are just starting out in the game. So you guys are definitely going to want to hear that as well. But you guys will be hearing all about that. Just remember, if this video helps you out, please subscribe to the channel as we do the best quality information regarding Pet Simulator 99 and getting rich and basically just all of the metas that are currently happening in the game. And you can also find out these metas before I upload them over on my Discord. Link will be down in the description below for that. But let me stop the yapping and let's just get into what this method actually is. All right, you guys. So this method is going to start here in the flower garden in world one. Now, this is definitely a forgotten about mechanic that not a lot of people really use anymore. But that is even more of a reason why this method is so good right now. If you've never used the flower garden in Pet Simulator 99, basically how it works is once you get to this level you get access to this garden merchant that goes ahead and sells you some seeds and what you can do with these seeds is actually go over here and head into the flower garden itself and you can actually plant these seeds to grow the things that the seeds are meant for so if we head over to this little planter here and i open up this menu you can see that we have four different options of seeds that i can plant in this plot so really quickly what we're going to focus on in this video are actually these diamond seeds so if I take this diamond seed and I actually plant it here, typically it takes two and a half hours for this to grow. But if you have a golden watering can, you can actually make the time go by quicker. Now, this is actually not what we're going to be doing in this video. We're actually going to be coming over here to these insta plant capsules. So if you use the insta plant capsule, come back and actually insta grow the seed. You can see that once you harvest it, you get between 30,000 and 45,000 diamonds every time you harvest. And that's pretty much it. That is essentially what the core aspect of this method is going to be. But the big thing about this is that you can actually automate this process fully and do it completely while you're sleeping. I'm just going to go ahead and explain how you actually do the method itself and then explain afterwards why it actually is such a good way to make diamonds. So in order to actually automate it, you're going to need some sort of keylogger program, kind of like tiny task. Now I will include a tutorial in the description below that I found on YouTube for how to use tiny task. But this program is the essential program for doing pretty much anything in Pet Simulator 99. All right. So once you guys have tiny tasks set up in order to actually get this going overnight and automating this process, you're going to want to come over here between the Insta plant capsules and this empty plot right here. And you're just going to want to stand as like in the middle as you possibly can. Now you're going to start your recording process and I'm going to go really slowly here just so I can show you guys the movements themselves. Now you're going to start recording your key movements with whatever your bind is for tiny task. And then you're going to press E, click diamond seeds, click confirm, press yes, press E again to activate the instant plant capsules, E again to instantly grow the diamond seed, E again to finally harvest it. Now, one thing that a lot of people forget when doing this method is to actually jump. So I actually incorporate a jump into my movement. So record the jump like that and then you're done recording. Now I did those movements very slow there just to demonstrate how to actually do this. But when you're recording it for yourself, you want to make sure that you're doing it as quick as possible so that you can make the most amount of diamonds in a short period of time. So I'm actually going to play back that little recording that we just made right there. So you guys can see it working in action for yourselves. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. And that is essentially what we're doing for this method. You can see that I made 45,000 diamonds 
from that diamond seed right there. And if I really needed to go take a shower or go to the gym or something, I could just leave this going overnight and essentially be making diamonds for absolutely free. So clearly I recorded these movements very slow, but you can do this a lot quicker than the way I just recorded it. So really quickly, I'm going to do another recording here just so you guys can see me doing it fast and see for yourselves. Now, sometimes the little diamond bags do get stuck in different areas, but that's why we do the jump. And when you do the jump on the next round of diamond plants, you will actually get those diamond bags. So as you can see, when I jump here, I should get those diamond bags that were stuck. So that's why the jump when recording your movements with this method is so important. You also only need a magnet three book. That's all I'm using for the setup. You don't need super magnets or anything like that. And this is pretty much the bread and butter of this method. You can do this over night while you're sleeping and essentially for every single one of these diamond seeds that are being planted you are getting 30k diamonds back minimum and sometimes 45k as well so essentially the method that i showed you guys in that video all those months ago is still working the exact same now the reason why this just got so much better is because there was actually a huge drop in the prices of diamond seeds as well as the instant plant capsules that it takes to make this now if you are a little newer in this game i definitely suggest you upgrading your garden merchant level because this garden merchant is very good when you don't have a ton of diamonds because you can get these diamond seeds and the instant plant capsules and the seed bags for dirt cheap so basically what you need in order to do this method is as many diamond seeds as well as instant plant capsules that you can get so as you can see diamond seeds currently cost about 10k instant plant capsules were actually manipulated up in price a little bit they were just 10k like a few hours ago so usually it should cost you around 20k right now to buy the diamond seeds and the instant plant capsules and then you can instantly get 30k back or up to 45k now another secret way that you can actually get these diamond seeds and instant plant capsules that a lot of people don't really think about most of the time when doing this method is actually those seed bags now for this video i already went ahead and opened all of my seed bags but for that 2700 diamond price tag for these seed bags you actually get about 5,000 diamonds in value from the seeds that you actually open from them i'll have the stats from my seed bag opening test on the screen here for you guys to see for yourself but these things are very good value to find these diamond seeds and instant plant capsules for pretty cheap now i would never lie to you guys these seed bags are extremely hard to find in the trading plaza if you do have patience you could potentially find somebody who has a few thousand of these at a time and that would get you a ton of diamond seeds and instant plant capsules and then you could do this method and make a ton of diamonds the other method would obviously just be going around the trading plaza and looking for diamond seeds and instant plant capsules now these are a lot more common to find you can find them for rat most of the time as these things do drop from just regular breakables so everybody that is farming for items usually has a ton of these things laying around after grinding all night as you can see i just have seven thousand of these diamond seeds just laying around so these things are worth 75 million in wrap. But if I went ahead and actually just used this automation method, I can make a ton more diamonds than I would get from just selling these at the trading plaza. Now, if you are just starting out in the game, you can use the seed bags to actually flip the things that you get from them. So you can go ahead and just try to snipe seed bags that people put up in their booths and then resell the seeds for even more, or just do this automatic method that I just showed you. So I'm gonna try to not embarrass myself by doing math on this video right here, but essentially it takes about six seconds from planting to harvesting each of the seeds that you get. So basically, if we do the math here, there's 86,400 seconds in a day, so if we take the 86,400 seconds divided by the six seconds it takes to do each of these repetitions, that would give us 14,400 seeds that we can cycle through in a day's time. Now, if we just say at minimum, we're making 10,000 diamonds on each of these seeds that we plant, that would give us a total of 144 million diamonds worth of diamond seeds that we can open and harvest every single day. Now, obviously that number will actually be more as you do get 45K diamonds pretty often. So this method is pretty underrated. And essentially all you need to do this is have this level unlocked in world one. So you could pretty much do this on an alt because all you need is level 54 unlocked, which isn't really hard to get at all. And then obviously you just need a program like tiny task i'm pretty 
pretty sure Tiny Task works on Mac as well, so you guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below about that. I personally don't have a Mac, so I couldn't test it out for myself. But even if it doesn't work on Mac, there is definitely another keylogger program that you can use to do something like this. All you need to be able to do on that program is press a key and click something, and that's pretty much it. And if you are really struggling to actually find these seeds, especially if you are early game, this garden merchant is really good for it. If you come here, this thing gets restocked constantly. And as you can see, I'm getting these seed bags for 744 diamonds each. And as I told you before, you get about 5,000 diamonds worth of value from just buying that so essentially i just paid like 1400 diamonds for like 10k worth of seeds and then if i turn those seeds into diamonds by actually planting them i'd get about like 15k on average or 16 something like that this garden merchant is just so good in the game and then on top of that while you're doing this method i don't know if a lot of people know this but there's actually a rebirth three chest over here where you can actually get a chance at the huge colorful wisp now there's about 9,000 of these in existence, so it isn't like too crazy hard to get. And it's just another chance at a huge while you're doing this. So every three hours you can stop your grinding and just open this chest and try to get that huge for yourself. And it looks like I'm actually stuck underground here. So we'll probably just end the video off here. I hope this video helps you guys out. Remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if it did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.